San Diego County doesn't get enough rain to support the needs of the 3.4 million people who live here. So how do we have enough water? We pay for it, and boy, do we pay a lot. San Diego's water rates are higher than almost anywhere else in the country. We're in a semi-arid region. San Diego only gets about 10 inches of rain a year. So where does San Diego's water come from? San Diego's largest source of drinking water is the Colorado River, which runs from Wyoming all the way down to Mexico. San Diego is nowhere near the Colorado River. The closest we are is the Arizona border. That's not the Colorado River. That's the San Diego River, and it alone can't support us. The water is taken from the river, and then it's carried through an aqueduct into Riverside County. From there, it's sent to San Diego by a regional water agency known as the Metropolitan Water District of Southern California. That agency serves 19 million people, Metropolitan began sending us water during World War II, when San Diego outgrew its local water supply. A few decades later, former Governor Pat Brown helped build something called the State Water Project. That's a system that captures water from the rivers in Northern California, fed by rain and melting snow in the Sierra Nevada mountains. Metropolitan sends us that water too. For many years, it all went smoothly until in the 1990s, a big drought came along and Metropolitan found itself caught off guard, as did the rest of Southern California. And officials say we could be receiving only about 40% of the normal amount because of a sharp decline in snowfall last winter. This will mean a greater strain on our reservoirs to supply our water needs. San Diego faced devastating water cutbacks. The San Diego County Water Authority, the agency that buys and resells Metropolitan's water to even more local water agencies like the city's water department or the Sweet Water Authority in South Bay, decided to do something. The Water Authority bought special rights to water from farmers in the Imperial Valley. Water rights are a strange thing across the West. People, even cities, can own the rights to water that they're nowhere near. Now, for instance, San Diego has rights to lots of water on the Colorado River, which it pays Metropolitan to deliver to us. Getting the rights to that water was a multi-billion dollar deal. Then, the Water Authority looked to another source of water, the ocean. There's a problem, of course, with ocean water. It's salty and undrinkable. The Water Authority and a private company worked together to build a giant plant in Carlsbad to make that water drinkable. Now, about a tenth of San Diego's water comes from the plant. It's known as desalinated water. It takes a lot of energy to get salt out of water, so that water is really expensive. It's another reason that San Diego has high water rates. The idea of all of this is to buy our way out of a future drought. We bought rights to water that we and no one else can use, and we found a way to drink the ocean. Now the city of San Diego and a few other local water agencies have their own ideas. What if we make wastewater drinkable? Wastewater is a fancy name for sewage. That can be done by using a lot of energy and chemicals to remove the bad stuff. In coming decades, the city expects a third of its water to be recycled and drank from this wastewater. That should mean San Diego's water supplies are more secure than ever. But at the same time, there's been big droughts which are causing all kinds of problems with the water supplies across the West, both in Northern California and on the Colorado River, which is shared by seven states and Mexico. Money can buy water, as San Diego has shown, but as climate change happens, water's gonna get even more expensive. 